Hi, this is Bob Pellerin, CTO Bob, and today we'll be looking at a Hewlett Packard HP small form factor computer. Uh, in the past, we've reviewed a lot of Lenovo, so we're going to switch things up a little bit. This is great for a uh, small business uh, desktop. If you're uh, working out of home, for example, and you want to do uh, work with Office and so forth, this is the kind of device you'd want to get, which is inexpensive, has enough power. So let's go ahead and unbox this. So this particular one is a ProDesk 400 and it's a G6, so a sixth generation. And so what we'll see is out of the box, let me pull it up for you. And so what we've got is a keyboard. And in the box of goodies right here, you will find, you would expect, a power cord, because of course it's always useful, and a Hewlett Packard wired mouse. And as most other products from other manufacturers, including this manufacturer, there's barely any papers. It's basically a little uh, warranty card, and that's about it. There's just four pages. So there's no documentation. And there's a quick setup guide with it as well. The setups on these things, by the way, because I've had a couple questions, uh, you turn them on and you will go through Windows 10 setup, which is doing a lot of next, next, and so forth. And then you've got upgrades to do. So calculating will take you probably over an hour easily, if not an hour and a half to set it all up. If you're starting to include applications, then it's gonna take a while. So the packaging, as opposed to some other brands, Lenovo uses a lot of foam, for example. They're using very environmentally friendly cardboard. So that's always good. Go ahead and put this on the side. And let's take a quick look at the unit itself. So in our case, this is an i5. I'll just put this on top here, so take a quick look. Uh, this is an i5-9500, so it's a ninth generation processor in here. Uh, keep in mind that when you order these, depending on the SKU or depending on the model that you're picking, uh, you will get different processors, you'll get different memory, you can get different drives, so you really need to configure what you want. I get a lot of comments, a lot of emails saying, hey, I bought one, I didn't get an i5, I got an i7, or I didn't get an i5, I got an i3. You get to select it when you purchase it. The uh, this series, for example, the 400, doesn't come with a single processor or a single uh, memory. Uh, you know, you get to decide what you want in there. So having said that, let's take a quick look at the front. The power button, which is over here, I'm upside down here. So you've got a jack for your audio. You've got, let's take a quick look. Those are USB. And uh, we've got a DVD player slash uh, drive here that uh, I believe this is the button to open it. And let's take a quick look at the back. So there's really nothing on the sides or the bottom. And what we've got on the back is a lot of USB ports as well. So you've got USB 3s, USB 2. You've got your gigabit ethernet. And for video, really this is a base model. You'll be able to get two screens if you use a display port and a more traditional VGA output. The rest is the power and let's take a quick look on the inside. So I get a lot of requests to see what they look like. So we've got the processor with a fan and a heat sink. So as you can tell, this is taking the heat away from the processor, which is very important. You've got an expansion slot there, so you've got a PCIe, and this is a version three due to the processor's limitations. And the memory is underneath here. At this point, you've got a single, so you've got two slots. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a single chip, which is an eight gig in this case. The SSD drive is sitting, it's a little bracket on here, so it's, uh, well, uh, well positioned here. And apart from that, I mean, that's, uh, that's about what you can see. So expandability from the point of view of a, an extra card is relatively simple. You just have to remember to get a uh, low form factor uh, compatible card 
so that you will get uh, a smaller bracket. Usually when you buy cards, you'll get the smaller bracket anyways. And really it's just a matter of taking out the uh, little metal insert, inserting it in there, and that's all there is to it. Again, the memory is quite easy. There's a slot there. And that's about the extent of the uh, changes that you'd really want to make on a unit like this. So we hope you've enjoyed this. Please make sure if you enjoyed this particular video, give us a thumbs up, give us a like. And uh, please, we're looking for more subscribers. That really helps us a lot. Thanks for encouraging us. We always appreciate it. Comments below. We will answer as many of the comments as we can. And of course, you can always continue to reach out by email. We're uh, always there to help you out. Thanks for watching. This is Bob Pellerin. See you next time.